Hi everyone and welcome to this new video. It has been four years since I started this channel and it still happens that people ask me what I do in my videos, how I do. So this is often because they have not seen the video since the beginning. But on the other hand, some believe that there is a specific treatment and that it is only necessary to apply it. Now the reality is somewhat different. There is indeed a treatment, but it consists of a simple idea. And this idea can have a host of different expressions. So that's why I decided to do a general review today. In the first part, we will review the idea, the expressions and the aim of the treatment, so people will better understand what my videos are about, uh, because all I do is I simply try to improve the chosen expression without repeating the idea in every video and with the aim to accelerate the healing. <coughs> And in the second part, uh, the second part will be devoted to the diet. The reason is diet is more and more the center of attention today. And this is because it can amplify or trigger, if needed, autophagy. Autophagy is the cleaning and recycling process on the level of the cells by the body. <clears throat> and that has to be distinguished from the cleaning of the soul blood we've seen with, with NIP. So this requires me to update what I have said about my diet in the beginning, in the past. Because I thought it hadn't, play, uh, it hadn't played any role because with knife the role of diet is quite limited and so in reality it may be quite the opposite and so that's why I devote a whole part of this video now to the diet. So let's get started. The idea. The idea can be summed up in two words. It is to obtain healing through sweating. And sweating can be more or less strong, uh, from exhalation to steam, That's where the sweating is much more powerful. But there is a problem. We know the osteoarthritis bump is an accumulation of morbid substances, of hardened protein waste. It is an induration. So how are, we get, how, how, how are we going to get them out of the body? Whichever expression of the idea we choose, be the porties, the compress, buts, and so on, we have to make sure it will have a dissolving aspect and an absorbent aspect, or both of them. They can be cold or hot, with nape, and again they can vary. Dissolving is often, often uh, obtained uh, by water with or without plants. And uh, the applications can vary endless, decoctions, fabrics, compresses and so forth and so on. Absorption is obtained most often with salt or clay applications. Again, in many different applications. Huh? It can be many different applications. So, as I said, uh, these applications can be both uh, dissolving and absorbing. And an example of one such application is the old straw poultice. Another example uh, is a hot salt bath, because salt dissolves and absorbs, but the condition is the bath must be um, hot. Clay is rather only an absorbent application. Salmon of baths are always hot 
and can be dissolving, absorbing, or both. There are three different salmon of bats. Further, in parallel, the blood will have to be cleaned through plant infusions and made nutritious through the food, such that it can access the place and irrigate and feed it again, that is, heal it. So that's the idea. For a good understanding of this idea, Knight made clear what he was inspired by when he designed the treatment, namely by the sun. By the work that the sun does when the laundry is dried outside. Think of, uh, for instance, a white fabric turned grey. Uh, this fabric will not be whitened by a single wash or even not uh, by many washes. Most often the intervention of the sun will be needed because the sun continues to dissolve the spots and has the dissolved matters evaporated, absorbs through the heat the, the matters, the dissolved matters. So we are now uh, going to see the expressions. So as I said, the poultice is, of Ostro is only one expression of the idea of the treatment. And I choose it because it is the most effective. Except mainly from salmon of bats. The choice of the, the expression may depend on the circumstances the health of the person, the means available, and so on. It may be more or less effective, more or less long, but the basic idea is always the same and will always end up bearing some fruit. Hmm? The aim of the treatment, and therefore of the poultice, is to treat osteoarthritis when there is no sun in wet or cold weather, so at any time and wherever you are. And we are now going to move to the diet, which is part of the most inner aspect of the treatment. I have nothing to add for the herbal teas. Uh, these teas support elimination in the broad sense and serve to clean the blood and promote optimal blood circulation. So they can be dissolving, they can be sudorifics, diuretics and so on. Nothing to add. But food deserves now much more attention. And I must even correct what I said before. With Kneip, the aim of the food was to make nutritious blood. But today we become aware food is a real medicine, like Hippocrates already told us. And even absence of food may be a medicine. So nutrition is becoming a true science, the true science of the future. And it is because the diet is able to encourage autophagy. So what is autophagy? Autophagy became famous in 2016 when the researcher Yoshinori Osumi of Japan received the Nobel Prize in Medicine for his work on autophagy. And since then there is a real craze for autophagy. They, they all want to amplify autophagy through fasting, through diet, essentially through diet, but also through sport, through sleep and through thousand means. Autophagy means self-eating. It is the self-cleaning process at the level of the cells by the body. It is a recycling process a detoxification process whereby the body consumes the waste of protein, the garbage of the cell, the trash can of the cells, damaged cells. In short, all that is harmful, all that is damaged, sick, corrupted, 
is eliminated in favor of cell renewal and health. In other words, it is a process of eliminating the disease and of restoring health. And how can autophagy be encouraged, activated, amplified? Uh, well, it is a natural process that is actually always active. Because the body needs more protein, uh, or more exactly amino acids, than provided by the food. Yoshinori Usumi says that the body needs 200 to 300 gram protein a day and, and gets only 50 to 100 gram at an average, depending on the person and what he eats. So the body recycles the protein debris to make more amino acids usable by the body. But it can be amplified by changing the diet. Already the mere reduction of food intake or eating only vegetable protein will encourage autophagy. Uh, Reduction of carbohydrates also will amplify um, <laughs> autophagy. And also the reduction of protein intake and fasting. So we are now going to see some diets encouraging autophagy. The first is the simple vegan diet because of the plant protein not having all the essential amino acids the body will be stimulated to recycle them in protein that it can use. And this way this diet activates autophagy unlike the carnivorous diet where the proteins are permanently stored and as a consequence Waste is accumulated constantly and one can easily guess this will lead to problems sooner or later. Uh, this is explained in the video that I put a link to beneath this video. So then there is a reduction in carbohydrates. Autophagy will be also amplified. There is one diet that decreases uh, carbs up to 5%, the ketogenic diet. This is actually quite similar already to fasting because the goal is to get the body to draw energy uh, from the body fat stocks once the carbs are exhausted. The food pyramid is 65% fat, 30% protein and 5% carbohydrates. But no need to go to this extreme. Decreasing the carbohydrate intake is already enough. And it is this new data that forces me to put into question what I said in the past about my diet my previous diet. <clears throat> because as to please my sensitive bowel, I told this in video 26, as to please my sensitive bowel, I avoided fibers as much as possible. Uh, it happens Fibers are found mainly in fruits, vegetables and cereals. Therefore, precisely in the foods containing carbohydrates. So my carbohydrates intake was therefore quite low. They never went down as low as 5% because I managed to have them in the normal range. But I was most often at the minimum of the range of normal values, that is 200 grams rather than 400 or 600 grams. So I may have underestimated the role of my diet.
in the, in the healing of osteoarthritis. Because it was a low carb diet. More than likely it has even played a significant role, especially uh, when I think of the sensations in my fingers and I have described them in one of the videos. Uh, they were as lightnings in the finger, making me think this was that some of the dissolved substances were taken back into the bloodstream. So some have been wiped out through the pores, but some may have been taken back into the bloodstream. So I must ask you to take note of this, as it is certainly a new track to explore, and an all the more interesting track that it is 100% safe. Hmm? This said, low carbohydrate diet is certainly bearable, but actually only stick to it because I thought it was the best for my body. In the long term, it becomes more difficult. I often felt somewhat hungry. So, all this being said, for a short time, the time to solve an osteoarthritis bone, it is certainly to be considered. Now the whole food plant-based diet, as you know I have switched to this diet and it is based on whole foods and plants and without added fats. It differs from the simple vegan diet in that it does not contain refined or processed food, little or no salt or simple sugars, low fat, and also is very low in protein. It differs also from the pre previous low carbs diet because of its inverse pyramid. The pyramid is 80% carbs, which is very much, 10% protein and 10% fat. It is promoted, as we've seen, by Colin Campbell and Dr. Esselstyn and many other doctors too. And this diet has been made famous by Clinton. So it amplifies autophagy because of its very low protein content. From my point of view, the big advantage is that it restores, because it is low in fat, an optimal ratio between omega-3, which are anti-inflammatory, and omega-6 which cause inflammation. At least if I take uh, each day a spoonful of flaxseed or chia seeds. Uh, that contain lots of omega trees. The ideal ratio is maximum one omega six for one omega three. Say maximum six, uh, 4 omega-6 for 1 omega-3. Yet in all diets, simple vegan as well as carnivorous, there is a huge amount of 10, 20 and more omega-6 for 1 omega-3. And I know uh, the high omega-6 intake have done a lot of harm to my bowel in the past. A last remark that I would like to do is vegan diets need to be supplemented with uh, vitamin B12. Uh, maybe also with vitamin D if there is no sun. And it is also uh, advised to check the iron intake and check whether iron is assimilated okay. One learns to eat according to assimilation of iron. So, well, you are now even better equipped to take control of your finger osteoarthritis. Always keep in mind that the treatment may, be, may take some time and that regularity makes the success. Patience will be needed. It seems that only a fast 
will be faster. So I'm going to take a course on nutrition now, soon in the fall. And so I'm serious about diet. So, and that's it for today. Thank you so much for listening, for coming. Until the next video, bye-bye.